Hi folks, it's Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And today I want to show you how to use both those programs together. Now, if your goal is to create a Blu-ray or a DVD disc from your movie, you'll want to get the movie, the finished edited movie from here in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum over to DVD Architect. The program makes it very easy to do, although I'm also going to show you the manual way to do it. To send your movie over to DVD Architect, you simply click on the Make Movie button up here at the top of the screen, and then the little wizard will walk you through the process. Select Burn It to a DVD or Blu-ray Disc, and if you select DVD or Blu-ray Disc, the program will simply output a DVD or Blu-ray Disc, but if you select DVD with Menus, or Blu-ray Disc with Menus, the program will automatically bundle it all up for you and create both a separate video stream and audio stream and these it will send over to dvd architect if i click next the program is going to render those files for me it's going to create both the video stream and the audio stream should just take a moment now it's creating it in a optimized format in other words there is an ideal format to feed into dvd architect for a dvd that ideal format is going to be an mpeg which is what it's producing right now for a blu-ray disc the ideal video format could be an avc file or it could be an m2t file mts file uh, and these are more advanced files for carrying blu-ray information now, how long this process takes depends a lot on a lot of things. How long your movie is, of course, uh, what you're using as source video. Right now, I'm using high definition, a 1920 by 1080 video. So it's taking a couple of minutes to generate my video. But the important thing is that what the program is going to feed to DVD Architect is optimized. So once it gets into DVD Architect, it's going to be a matter of seconds or just maybe a minute or so for it to generate your DVD or Blu-ray from these optimized files. And there it is. It has the video file generated. It has the audio file generated. And if I click Send to DVD Architect, the program will automatically port it on over to a DVD Architect project. And there it is. And as you can see, the video file has been sent to the main menu here. And here we can do whatever we want to do. We can add scene menus or whatever to it. And we can generate then our menu system and create our DVD. And that's really all there is to it. Now, if you prefer to do this manually, that's easy enough too. Let's jump back over to Vegas Movie Studio. The manual way to do it is to use the Render As tool to create your video and your audio stream. To create your uh, audio file, you simply select the option here and select the output that you want, which uh, 48K 16-bit stereo is just fine. Now, if I had actually been building a video project that has 5.1 audio, you would have seen 5.1 audio as one of my options here. So I would just click render and that would output the audio stream. Now, by default, the name of the file is the name of your project, which in my case is Ohio in summer. To create your uh, video stream, you can select main concept here and you see that you have the option of outputting a video stream here at high def at high quality 25 megabits per second if you're creating a dvd file rather than a blu-ray file just go up here and you see that you have the option of a widescreen or standard video stream already pre-programmed for dvd architect uh, if you're outputting an avc file for high def you could choose the option here. Now notice this only put outputs a video stream. It doesn't output video and audio together. However, you do have that option. If you go here to main concept MPEG-2, you can select the program stream options and these will generate both the video and audio as a single stream. Now naming the video stream and the audio stream the same name will ensure that when you go over here to DVD Architect, they'll automatically be rejoined together the program when you load the video in or when you load the audio in as a media file the program will automatically grab the other half of the stream and join the two together right here all they need to do is be in the same folder and have the same name so whether you do it manually or whether you do it using the make movie option uh, your results will still be the same you'll get a real nice optimized video for dvd architect and dvd architect will only take a moment to turn that into your DVD or your Blu-ray disc. If you want to know more about these programs, be sure to check out our books, the moviepix.com guide to movie studio platinum and the moviepix.com guide to DVD architect. They're both available at 
Amazon.com, and of course, at our website, moviepicks.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.